So in this video, I'm setting up eight Polara navigators for an intersection that I'm working on, and I figured what better environment to work on it than in my, the comfort of my own home. So anyway, these are pretty easy to set up once the CCU is uh, hooked up to the controller. First thing you got to do is you got to set the ID as the buttons keep telling me. Yeah, so they keep yelling at you until you set the ID. So you can set them either with the wireless remote or you can set them by conveniently plugging in the uh, A to B printer USB cable that uh, I happen to have. So you type in the password, which is just the default password, and I'll change it later. And then you go to your audio, or no, sorry, you go to your setup, and then I look through my electrical plans, and I look through my uh, template that the, provided to me by the city that I drew out. tells you if you have a north-facing uh, north intersection there, it tells you exactly how to lay out which the buttons, like so you got C1 and C2 crossing um, east to west, uh, you got B1 and B2 crossing north to south. Uh, so they have this all set up. And they gave me a list on how to uh, set up, well, I know how to set up the settings, but they give you a list on what to set the settings to. Uh, and then, of course, your north to south crossing would be your cuckoo sound, and your east to west movement would be your uh, Canadian melody, and the clearance tone is just your locator tone, but just a little bit louder. Uh, so anyway, um, you can either set these up as individual buttons, you can set all the audio programming up right through the computer, or through the remote, or you can just go to, once you get the ID set up, you can actually set everything up right through the CCU, which is really convenient. So the button I have plugged in now is actually A1, so I'm going to go select A1 and hit update ID, and that's it. So. So then, then I'll plug in A2, the computer will prompt me for the password again, and then I will set that to A2. And I've set up these other buttons, C1, C2, B1, B2. So the last ones are D2. D1. Once the uh, everything's set, the um, if you run the buttons through the walk cycle, uh, I'll just press them all here. I don't know which one's which right now. So when they're set up properly, they'll go through the standard sounds like they're supposed to. Um, however, if they're not set up, the button will actually tell you to press the setup button on the back of the CCU. Uh, and all that's doing is just registering all the information that you just put into the buttons. There's the standard. sign is on press sound is just the standard CCU. sound so I'm gonna press the setup button on the CCU so now they're all flickering at me so now it won't yell at me like that now everything's set up in the CCU so now I can go ahead plug in the CCU Device is ready for use, enter my password, and everything should come up as passed, so that's good. 
So this is kind of cool because it tells you if the button's pushed, if there's a pedestrian call place, so I'll press on uh, C1, and you can see C1 has a ped call. Uh, I'll press A2, and now there's a call on channel A. And I've labeled them all the uh, streets that they'll be crossing. So now it's going to go through it again. There, so now it's going through properly. So you can set these up with general purpose inputs, emergency vehicle inputs. Um, we don't have to do that in this case. Uh, that's, that's just not a requirement of the municipality. So the next thing is uh, anything read from the CCU. Um, these are just the general purpose inputs. You can Those are the channels. Um, you can set to, if there's a train approaching or something, you can have it set to play on channel A or anything like that. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with this, but uh, we're just doing the basics today. So the next thing is, is you want to read from, so I want to read from A1 and A2, for example. So you can see it has just the standard walk sign, uh, locate volume minimum. Um, this is all just default settings. So I've already set up channel C. So I'm going to go to channel C. And I've set that up to play uh, with all the proper values. I've set it up to play the Canadian Melody. And that is set up. So the only other, the other one that I want to play the Canadian Melody on would be, so I've got East to West C, so it would be channels A1 and A2. So I want to hit Update. And I can now update that to A1 and A2, or just hit Channel A. Um, and the, you can put up to four uh, inputs on those uh, on each channel, so A1, A1 through 4 and so on and so forth. So I'll hit update. All right. Let's see if it worked. And some of them have left and right facing arrows, some of them have only left facing arrows, only right facing arrows, but it just depends on, I've, I've set it up according to my electrical plans and how the buttons are actually going to be laid out in the field. So when my poles come in and I get out in the field, it will be a matter of literally just putting the buttons on and powering them up. And all the, this part will be done. Oh, so there you go. There's the Canadian Melody. the tone one, the locator tone. So let's also update, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the cuckoo sound, and we're going to go update, and we're going to update that on, so right now we have cuckoo on channels B1 and B2, because they're going uh, north to south, so we want them on D1 and D2, or just channel D, update. That's it. So now channel D is set. And you can see that when I press anything that's on channel D, it will automatically register on the other push button to notify that you're, that's the street you're crossing. And then it goes into this 18-volt uh, DC circuit board, which goes back to the CCU. And then it also has inputs, 120-volt inputs on the load switch outputs. So there you go. There's your cuckoo. Uh, and then it also has options to go on the preemption and any other inputs that you want to put it on. Uh, basically, you can set it up however you want. You can put multiple languages on it. But for this situation, this is all we're going to do. Um, so anyway, I hope you, I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.